back. This is Rando Geek. Alright, let's talk about AT&T and what their next move is. So, it looks like they're looking to expand their fiber optic reach. This can be very big for them. Um, I think that their key focus is to grow the company in many ways. Obviously, they want to grow their internet service. They want to make it stronger. They're looking to raise capital. Um, from a business standpoint, this can be very good for them. Obviously, this is going to cost a lot up front, but I think overall, if it's produced properly, I think that they're going to see positive results. Um, from what I've heard, their, their fiber plans that they've already released to certain cities and, and states, people are saying that it's awesome. Um, I've been waiting for it to come to my neighborhood, to my city. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like it's coming anytime soon. Doesn't look like it's on a list of places they're going to be expanding to. But I can tell you once they do, I'm definitely in for trying. Um, you know, it's priced good and the results from what people say are all positive. I, I'm truly excited to try it. I can't wait till it hits my area. Um, but let's go over this article. I'll leave the link for you in the description. So by the title, we see Feeding the Need for Speed, AT&T's grand 42.5 billion plan to expand fiber optic reach. All right, so basically what's happening here is uh, AT&T has tapped BlackRock and eyes government funding to accelerate the build out to fund the extravagant expansion worth 42.5 billion as its debts as its debt load outstrips its annual revenue so again they they AT&T has been looking for a way to capitalize they've been losing money as we know um, so has Verizon AT&T um, T-Mobile seems to be in the lead as far as um, avid, uh, annual revenue um, profits right so Verizon and AT&T have been slipping and they're both looking for creative ways to make gains and this is a creative way I think for AT&T to kind of bounce back recapitalize and refocus and and just become a profitable company again um, like I said their their fiber plans have been highly rated you know so far and many people have been satisfied with it so now they're looking to expand they're looking to get it out to more areas and I think that that could be very good because a lot of people don't know what they're missing and I think when the availability is there for them they're gonna try it and they're gonna be satisfied I really do I mean people are saying that it's been very good I'm like I said I'm waiting to try it I have some faith in it I think it actually be probably probably very good I think I think I'd probably be very satisfied with it. Obviously, I wouldn't know until I tried it, right? But, you know, getting it out there, putting it in, in front of people for people to try and test, um, that's the only way it's going to work, right? So, uh, obviously, um, they're looking to expand in... So, it looks like they're looking to expand in Las Vegas, northeastern Pennsylvania, and parts of Arizona, Alabama, and Florida. So, those are the key states that they're looking to branch out to um obviously testing is a similar on uh so at&t is testing a similar service on a smaller scale with fiber remains the long-term focus so it occurred 24 billion on its fiber and 5g networks in 2022 and has a similar level of spending in 2023 so they want looks like in april at&t reported first quarter right operating revenues of 30.14 billion so it was up 1.4 percent year over year marginally missing the consensus of 30.26 billion so it, they're not where they want to be but you know obviously a move like this could be very big for them getting it out there getting it into the hands of people that want better service that want that fiber i think it's going to be uh you know, I think it could be good. I think it could be good. I think a lot of people that get their hands on it will be satisfied. So I'll leave the link for you in the description. It's a short article. Let me know in the comment section what you think about this. Is this a smart move for AT&T? You think it's going to do more damage for them? Do you think it's going to create less of a profit? Let me know in the comments. Hit me up. Hit that like button on your way out. Don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe. Stay in the loop with all the latest technology news. And I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.